hi welcome back to my channel or if you are new then welcome my name is sophie payne and i do pretty much everything to do with being plus size and yeah today is super exciting because we all know how excited i get about a certain little site called asos and today is my October What's New In ASOS haul and I'm really, really, really excited for this one. It's really autumnal, it's really like kind of that cool grungy vibe and I haven't got a lot of colour surprisingly. Like there's a couple of things that are a bit out there but there's nothing that's massively colourful which is quite surprising. So if you want to see what is new in, in ASOS, for October, for us chubbers, then it's day two. <laughs> okay, so I'm super, super excited to say that this month's ASOS haul is sponsored by a company called Shop Tagger. And Shop Tagger, if you haven't heard of it, basically is like having a personal shopper all the time you can install shop tagger um and when you are shopping through pretty much any site you can put a little like tag on it so if there's something that you like but you want to see if you can get it cheaper or see if um there's going to be like a coupon like i can't tell you the amount of times i've done a haul and then the day after everything's had 20 percent off like frustrating so if there's something you've got your eye on but it's just a little bit too expensive or you think mm, i'd buy it if it's a little bit cheaper you can put like a little tag on it and then shop tagger will notify you when it goes in the sale or if there's any coupon or discount code relating to that item and they will automatically apply the coupon code when you're going through the checkout so it's like an add-on to the browser and it's basically just like a little shopping assistant and i think it's absolutely brilliant like i said i can't tell you the amount of times that i've brought something and then it's gone in the sale or i've wanted something put my little asos heart on it and then it's gone in the sale i haven't noticed when i've gone to buy it, it's already sold out so you can choose if you want to be text or emailed like to be notified of when things go in the sale um so i chose a text because if something i really want has gone in the sale like, i want to know straight away and also makes me look more popular than i actually am so let me show you how this works exactly so i've popped the link down in the description bar and that will launch the web page so from google chrome i've launched a web page and i've gone to get shop tagger and then i'm just going to pop in a username and password then i want to add the shop tagger button to my browser so i'm going to connect and then i'm going to add the extension to chrome which will start a download. So this will then tell you that it is successfully downloaded Shop Tagger and it will launch a little demo. First of all, you can go on supported stores and see the amount of stores that work with Shop Tagger that you can add tags to. And there is literally a whole heap of brands in here. But in true Sophie fashion, I'm going to show you how this works with ASOS. So I've launched the ASOS website and then I'm just going to find an item that takes my fancy. Select the item that you are interested in, choose your size as you normally would. And then rather than adding it to the basket, click the little shop tagger symbol and then you can add the percentage reduction that you want to be notified of and you can also add it into a list and then you save it from here and you can be notified um, either by email or text when that has then been reduced so i can always go back to the shop tagger web page and look at my lists and here i've got a list called sophie's lust list which is all the things that i'm lusting over at the moment and now and what is possibly my favorite thing about shop tagger is that it automatically applies coupon codes that they found so if you go to the checkout 
um, Shop Tagger will automatically have a look for any coupon codes and test all the coupon codes that are against that site and let you know what has worked. And then if there's multiple coupon codes that work, it will let you know which has got the best saving and apply it automatically. So that's Shop Tagger. I'll link everything down below. I think it's absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait for this to save me hours of searching for coupon codes. I literally feel like the most autumnal grebo in the world. Also, what do we think of my new background? I'm totally loving it. My hair's massively washed out, so now it's sort of like a, almost like a corally orange colour, but I'm, I'm here for it. I've got my Halloween mug, my Halloween tea. Okay, so the first item is the ASOS Design Curve Tiered Maxi Dress in Leopard Print. It was £38. Okay, so this is this dress here. So it's sort of just a round neck, really nice poofy sleeves. And then it's just a thin cotton and it just comes down and sort of really, really flares out at the bottom. It has got sort of like... um a separate layer and then it goes looser if that makes sense um so it's sort of fitted to the waist then it's got another layer then it's got another sort of hem and it comes out again and i just really like the look of this i thought this was just a really nice pair of like cool trainers which might be coming up um and yeah i mean you know me living for leopard print it's not got any stretch in it at all it is literally a cotton and you know when it's um it's like a cotton and then it's got like a soft like it almost feels like bobbly that makes sense um so it's got like another layer over it it is super super thin so to be fair I feel like I could take this on holiday as well. Like I can't actually see through it. Like it is a super, super thin cotton. Um, but then nice for autumn because you know, sometimes you don't wanna to be too hot. Also perfect for layering. Like I feel like this would look really nice with like a big black baggy jumper over the top. So it just looked like a skirt. Um, or like all the grandad cardigans that are in. So that's the first dress and I'm gonna try it on right about now. Oh, okay. This one needs to be shown in the mirror. I feel like this might be how it's meant to fit. However, I kind of wish that I'd size down because it's like really, really loose here. And it's sort of drop waist. So like my waist is there. So I feel like if it, if it fitted on the waist, it would look better than like... It's like I know that's how it's meant to be. The problem is it's so long. Um, I didn't realise that this is maxi, so obviously on me it's really, really long. I mean, I could turn it up, but I feel like that would just be massive effort. The sleeves are really, really cute. And I mean, I do like it, but mm, it just, the fit's just not not ideal and I'm not going to keep something that I'm only going to wear once because I don't do that shit no more so I think this one might go back okay so the next item is 100% the most ridiculous thing that's going to be in this haul however seriously I saw it and I don't feel like I've ever been so excited about anything maybe ever so this is the Daisy Street Plus Co in flame print faux fur it was 59 99 I'm so excited. Okay, right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um, so this is the code here. <laughs> it's bloody ridiculous, but I absolutely love it. So it's like a proper soft faux fur that really, really like soft comfy fully lined um has potentially the best print in the world it's got the fire emoji all the way over it and then it just comes in and it's got a press stud i think it is two press studs two press studs at the front and i mean if that isn't a statement piece i don't know what is <laughs> oh my god obsessed actually obsessed Oh. I don't know what you heard about me, 
But you can't get a dollar out of me. I mean, is this really cool or potentially the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen? I haven't quite decided. I think I love it. Also, it's actually super, super warm. Like, it's really, really baggy. Again, like, all the Daisy Street jackets seem to be, like, so oversized. Um, it's, like, literally down to my knees. I feel like a fucking cheat <laughs> I kind of love it. I kind of love it. It's got pockets. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. This is cool, isn't it? Everyone's like in the comments, no, Sophie, please don't keep that. It's ridiculous. Okay, so the next item I have been literally putting on my Instagram constantly because I've literally wore them. Literally, literally every single day um and i bloody love them so if you've been around any amount of time you know that i'm constantly constantly on the hunt for the perfect pair of mom jeans and i've got a few that i like but like nothing that i'm like oh my god yeah i want to wear it all the time i found them i've 100 i found them i never ever buying another pair of mom jeans unless they're the same as these because these have just blown all the others completely out the water so these are the asos design curve blue and boyfriend jeans in clean black clean black they were 32 pounds and just so you know i got them in a size 28 because i have got like a smaller waist and then hips bum thighs huge legs so look i carry all my weight look on the bottom and then my waist is smaller so i was like i would rather have them baggier at the top that i can cinch in with a belt um but then baggy on my legs as well like i felt like i was buying mom jeans but none of them were baggy on my legs because they fitted at the top so these are them here I don't feel like it's going to do them justice until you see the try on. Um, but I got them in a 28-32 leg. However, um, I would have had like a 28-28 if that was an option. I'm literally as wide as I am tall. Um... Yeah, so the, the, these here, and I think the key is that they're a balloon jean. So they're like cut, like waist, cut, cut out. So that gives them that extra bit of fabric at the top of the leg, which is where I needed it. They're not tight on my belly. And oh, I just, I really, really love them. I have had to roll them up loads, um, but I quite like that vibe anyway. I just got them in black. If I can get them in blue, then I will. Um, but I haven't, haven't found them at the moment. So, yeah, got these. So excited in actually in love with them. Okay, right. These are the jeans. And they're honestly just my favourite. They're a little bit tighter at the moment because my mum put them in the tumble dryer. Um, but they sort of like loosen off as you wear them. But you can see like on the top of the leg, they're like baggier. I'm going to show you in the mirror so you can see the bottom. Okay, so excuse post ASOS haul room. Um, but these are the jeans, like I say, baggy on the leg. They're sort of like blue and blue now, and then they're not tight here, which I really, really like. And yeah, I've rolled them up about 10 times. Um, but they're literally perfect. I love them. Finally found a pair of mom jeans that I'm living for. Thank the Lord. Next, I got the ASOS Design Curve Long Sleeve Boyfriend Shirt in mustard and ivory check. Again, I sized up two on this one and got a size 30 um, because I wanted it to be... I wanted to have the option... Okay, so I wanted to be able to close it up and do it up to the top with like maybe like a belt round as a dress. Or where it opens slouchy, almost as like a bit of a jacket kind of thing. Um, so it's super, super thin and not a lot to say about it. It's just a check shirt, but the colours are really nice. It's like um, a navy blue grey is the only way I could describe it. It's not quite navy, but it's not quite grey either. <laughs> I'm 
absolutely brilliant at this. And then it's got like a mustard stripe, got white in it as well. And yeah, it's just really casual and cool, but I do, I just like the vibe of it. And yeah, so I up twice with that one. Okay, maybe not to wear with snake print joggers. However, this is the shirt. It's really, really oversized, but you've got to remember that I've got a 30, so it's like size up to, but it's real like slouchy, comfy. Um, but I think it just means that you can wear it loads of different ways. Like I wore it the other day, open over just jeans and a vest, but you could also sort of tie it up at the front or you could wear it as a dress with a belt round. It's pretty long, like I am only 5'3", um, but it's sort of like mid, mid calf. Is that your calf? That's not your calf, is it? The bottom one's the calf. Yeah. Okay, I feel like now it's time to talk about the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Um, this is part of the ASOS Halloween range, which I'm living for. I'm really happy this year because last year, um, they didn't do a huge amount of the ASOS Halloween range in plus size. This year, pretty much almost everything they've got in plus size as well, which I love. So I got this t-shirt here, which... I mean, ghost hits. I wish that I wish the ghosts go, goats. <laughs> They're hundred percent not goats. I wish the ghosts were like on the nipples, but maybe some maybe maybe normal people's nipples are there and might might are just low. Like that's my nipple. Why am I putting my nipple out? <laughs> so it's called the ASOS Design Curve Halloween T-shirt with reflective ghost print in organic cotton. Um, it's sold out at the moment, but I'll link it down below anyway. And that one was only ten pound, which I know like you don't want to spend loads on like novelty Halloween T-shirts. I'll hundred percent wear this all year round. Like I don't know who I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, ten out can't go wrong. They've had some new Halloween t-shirts since I ordered these. So I'll link them all down below because another one might take your fancy. Like they've got some with like cool like skulls on and stuff. So I'll link them all down below so you can see which ones you fancy. Okay, so this is the ghost t-shirt so you can see it properly. Um, it's like a nice, like I've tucked it in and like blazed it out a little bit. It is quite a quite a long t-shirt like it does like come up and cover sort of the tummy and the hips if that's something you're conscious of um but yeah the ghosts are really highly placed but i mean i'm fine with it but you could also like tie it up or whatever just a real standard t-shirt fit but for a tenner bog next is another halloween themed t-shirt and that is this one here and it says ah <laughs> <laughs> this one again was £10, which I think is a bargain. Um, I've got something really sorry to tell you about this one. So, this is called the ASOS Design Curve Halloween t shirt with glow in the dark ah print in organic cotton. Um, yes, it glows in the dark. I haven't tested the theory yet. I feel like if I even it's daylight, so it, it won't work. Um, but I feel like so. If you know me, I go to this dirty rock club all the time called Planet. It's it's pretty gross. And I feel like wearing this there so it glows in the dark when like you're dancing to Fall Out Boy. <laughs> I was so here for it. Um, but yeah, they're just both really, really like nice standard fit t-shirts. So this one I got in a 24, which is quite like, not form fitting, but just like a standard t-shirt. Like not baggy, not loose not baggy, not tight. Um, and then this one I got in a 26 because this one I wanted to be like slouchy out and tie it up because I didn't want the, the two to fit me the same. Um, so yeah, if you, especially if you don't want to dress up for Halloween, like I know dressing up for Halloween isn't everyone's cup of tea. It's 100% my cup of tea. Um, but if you don't want to dress up, then maybe something like that and like a pair of jeans or just like a black like skater skirt or whatever. Yeah, I feel like some more people can get on board with Halloween in stuff like that. Okay, right, this is the oh, t-shirt. And as you can see, I was sized, well, no, I got my standard size in this one, so I was down in the other. So this is a 26 and it is like a little bit 
little bit baggier, like not massively oversized, but it's like that like looser fit t-shirt. And yeah, not loads to say about it. Like I wore this tied up, um, which I thought looked quite nice. And yeah, I'm all about the novelty Halloween tea. Oh, love this one. Okay, right, so next is the Wednesday's Girl Curve Pleated Midi Skirt in mini cherry ditzy print. Um, <clears throat> it was 18 pounds and I got it in a size 26 again. That's this skirt here. I bloody love it. Absolutely bloody love it. Um, so it's not got any stretch on the waist. Um, I've got a 26, probably could have got a 24, but just go with like your standard size, you don't need to size up. Um, so it just zips in, it's Wednesday's girl, it's not, it's not bad quality, it's not the best quality. Um, and it's just got these really cute cherries on, which make, which make it feel a little bit like something I'd have worn when I was 14, but I'm, I'm here for it. And then it's long and pleated and yeah i just think that's quite cute um again even just like with one of these halloween tees i wore it with a um nirvana t-shirt tied up the other day and a belt and i just i really love that okay this is the cherry skirt it's not lined so it is like really really thin um however it's not see-through at all and I just feel like it's a nice, like, sort of skims. Um, it's really, really comfortable, like the pleats. It's a nice length. I'm gonna show you in the mirror. It's a really, like, nice length. Like, it's not maxi, but it's, like, I guess on a normal size person. <laughs> normal size meaning height. Um, yeah, I think that's cute. And could wear it a million different ways, couldn't you? Okay, right, on to accessories. I've got... A couple of accessories and then the rest are shoes. Okay, first up is just a couple of hair bubbles. These are called the Elsie and Fred two pack hair scrunchie in animal prints. There is five pound for two. Bloody love a scrunchie. And I like these because I like the super garish print of them. Um, I mean, standard. Uh, the, so the first one, Oh, these feel nice. These are like, you know when a bubble's like got a good retract, ret retraction? Um, so the first one is this one here and it is just pink and white, almost like a zebra print, love. And then the second one is this one here, which this is my favorite of the two, which is yellow and bright pink leopard. They might look a bit garish with my hair, but I'm not really that bothered. I just thought they were cute, so five pound picked them up. Then I got a necklace. Okay, so this is the Sacred Hawk Burnished Silver Chunky Chain Heart Pendant Necklace. Um, and it was 14 pounds, so it's by Sacred Hawk, which I think's a really cool brand. I've not got any jewellery on today, I've just realised, like not even my rings. Um, <clears throat> so it's this here. So it's just a really, wow, look. <laughs> reflection on that um it's just a really big silver heart on a big silver chain and nothing special it's a little bit clunky but i like that and i just love like layering loads of chains i'm gonna have to put some jewelry on it's bothering me uh final accessory uh i think we now like considering it's rain for pretty much three weeks straight i think we, we're fully in that like autumn winter stage and i think that means that it's time to start buying scarves which I literally it's one of my favorite things to buy um so i picked a scarf up which is called the asos design long orange grid check scarf in raw with raw edge 18 pounds and it's this one here which has just come oh <laughs> whoa is it square oh no Okay, right, this, oh my God, the colour. Um, this scarf here, it's like a real warm, ready orange, not that like yellowy orange. And, oh my God, it's really, really long. Like it's not, you know, like sometimes you buy scarves and they're like just not even long. 
this just a baggy black jumper going pumpkin picking <laughs> with my orange hair which doesn't look orange anymore i'm just oh i'm about it i'm really about it maybe even with my novelty flame coat uh yeah i really really like that really like that that's a winner okay next i've got three pairs of shoes and these were expensive and i'm not going to keep them all before anyone wants to give me a lecture down in the comments um but i just didn't really know what i wanted so first pair um but i picked up these they're the adidas originals home of classics i a to r i r i'm 100 not cool enough um trainers in white and they were 75 pound and they are reduced at the moment on asos to 56 i will link them and basically i just like i just want to wear really like nice autumn floral dresses but then with like big white trainers however i tried a pair of like white chunky trainers from pretty little thing and they just so not me so not me and i heard jess on the plus size talking about this as well like it's so difficult to find like a pair of chunky trainers that don't look ridiculous unless you've got that like sporty kind of street style aesthetic um so for a little old green brow like me i thought these were a little bit a little bit understated um so these are them here if the focus the if the camera wants to sort its light you know um the only thing is i don't feel like you're going to be able to tell this the sole is like almost like that creamy yellow and then this is like proper brilliant white however they are really really soft i don't know what i like what the hell what the hell why is the size printed on the sole on the on the tongue look at that surely that's not a cool thing to do now oh my god i'm so old that is the weirdest thing i've ever seen like all the sizes the eu sizes and that are printed on the tongue so you can see them what if you had really embarrassingly sized feet like you was a man and you had like a size two and like you didn't want anyone to know and then you, it's on the tongue not that there's anything wrong with being a man and having size two feet god honestly youtube just have to be so pc i'm constantly scared of offending people okay i'm not sure i'm not sure they look comfortable but i'm really not sure about the tongue number situation they're the first shoes oh okay next pair are a pair of boots because so i know i brought my cowboy boots <clears throat> however i wore them out the other day and they're they're not uncomfortable but they're more like you know like the shoes you can only wear if you're going for a meal or like going to the cinema something that you know you're going to be sitting down for and i want like a pair of boots that i can wear like every single bloody day so i ordered these ones these are called the asos design artistry premium leather hiker boots in black they were 75 pounds so slightly more expensive but they are leather sorry to all the vegans out there <gasps> Ooh! these are them so like these are like you know what's funny my brother um like is a like, really outdoorsy and like wears like hiking boots all the time all the time and i've always took the piece out of him like what the hell are them shoes now i'm trying to buy some that look battered up like his i'm just asking him if we can borrow his um so i've got these ones they're the asos premium ones so they're like really good quality there's loads of these on asos that are a cheaper version um so they're not leather or they're by like new love or boohoo something like that down in the description bar i will link a few pairs so i'll link these ones but then i'll also link some of the cheaper ones because i know that not everyone wants to like 
invest in a pair of boots um plus these might be quite faddy and no one might be wearing them next year so i will link a cheaper pair down below um but i re i really like the look of them i just need to try them on they are cool though aren't they <sighs> living my best grebo life and then last but by no means least I've wanted these probably since I was 14. I actually got a proper pair of Doc Martens. So in summer I brought myself some Doc Martens sandals and I've never had a proper pair of Doc Martin boots so I've got some. And these are the Doc Martens 1460 soapstone leather ankle boots in black. They were £149. And... So excited. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, this is exciting. Okay, right. So these are them. Oh no, I love them. I really love them. I just want them to be comfortable. Like I've heard so much about like trying to find a comfortable pair of Doc Martins or like breaking them in or whatever. Um so I think maybe if I wear like really thick socks or like wear them around the house, um, the oh my god, I'm literally in love. Okay, right, these are them here, and oh my god, look, like they've got like the rose gold detail. Um, these are soapstone, which soapstone, I feel like that's what it's called. Um, so they're like not like that shiny. They're like that kind of like dull if that you can tell um they are like they are stiff but they're comfortable at the back it just might be this toe bit oh my god i love them so much and i'm being annoying but i fucking love them um so yeah i got them got them in a size six and i'm gonna try them on now and see what they're like <laughs> okay so that's it that is my october 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 new in ASOS haul. Um, so a couple of things. I want to thank Shop Tagger for sponsoring this video. Go and check them out. Honestly, it's such a brill idea. Um, and I just feel like it could save you money, which means that you can buy even more. Win win. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment what your favourite thing is down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you really, really, really soon. I've got loads and loads of exciting videos coming up. So click the little bell if you want to be notified of when I post. Because it's going to be really busy over the next couple of months. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Happy Halloween. I'm sure I'll see you before. Um, but yeah, oh, um, why am I so awkward? See you soon.